What's going on my broskies, my name is Toadski, back again, here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video, and we're back with arguably one of the worst game modes in One Piece Treasure Cruise, the Grand Party, I dread it every single month, and I mean, we need to start a dialogue, this, this game mode is so bad, it is flooded with uh, lots of people utilizing Goldie Roger, of course for the first two matches you get a bunch of refreshes, and you know, I was refreshing a bunch of times, and the amount of Rogers that I saw, like, 90% of Rogers, which is crazy. And I understand there's lots of people out there that are not using Roger, and, you know, more power to you. But with the way that the game mode is set up right now, it, they kind of force you to run the most, quote-unquote, optimal teams. And the most optimal team, by far, is using Goldie Roger as your leader. Now, as the days progress, I might actually, you know, change these teams up. Due to the rulings this month, it is kind of interesting. I feel like... You know, utilizing Roger, you might actually want to go for, you know, an int driven team as one of your uh, three options alongside that Roger leader, just due to the fact that both int and driven receive so many different buffs. And also, slasher characters, they receive minus three cooldown uh, to, to, to themselves, which is kind of annoying as well. Um, just getting a little bit less uh, chance to launch their specials when, you know, normally they would be launching their specials. I remember there was one component in this clip. I, I can't remember which one it was. It was my slasher team, and, you you know, my Roger Whitebeard was about to launch, and if they had that additional plus three, they would have launched it when they came up, but they just missed it. So then you had to wait for the next uh, go around for them to actually launch their special, and things like that will happen. And you know, ov obviously, you can you can shift your team around due to the rulings and stuff, which I definitely will be doing over the next couple of days. But until Bandai change things, I'm probably just going to be using Roger later the entire time, uh, unless if I pull like the new debuting legend who's quote unquote optimal for the new batch of Grand Party. Obviously, if you have the new killer, um, he is a character that I would have would liked to have tried out because he just kind of works with the new uh, leader skill and also his uh, he just fits well with the rulings that are set in place for this new season of Grand Party. But you know what? I'm just going to use Roger for now, and if things change over the coming days, then we'll go ahead and do that. And I know a lot of people are not going to like seeing Roger teams on these grand parties, but look, until they change things, Roger is the best leader to use. And considering, you know, losing losing matches is not something that you want to do. Um, you know, it, it kind of forces you into a certain position. And I do get, you know, the first, you know, few matches that you have, there's lots of leeway. You know, you could just use whatever you want for these uh, first couple of days and not really be punished too harshly for that. But... I opted to use Roger today, and it is what it is. I think Grand Party is the worst game mode in the game. I've talked about it extensively before, especially on my Twitch channel when I'm live streaming with a bunch of you guys in the chat. I just absolutely despise this game mode. But anyways, moving on up next, we have a very interesting setup here as I do have my slasher team, and I believe I was up against a dex team. And, you know, normally dex teams are pretty hard to take down. Uh, and, you know, they're very, very tricky. They're very bulky. But uh, with Roger's leader skill, it makes things a lot easier. And this is what I'm saying. Like, the fact that Roger as a GP lead is so potent. And it's not even his leader skill, really. His leader skill is fine. It's just his his burst is just incredibly powerful. They, they definitely should not have made his burst skill, uh, like, twice, like, twice per uh, every three matches. It's just absurd. Uh, that should not be a thing. And I understand that there are ways around it, and, you know, the AI doesn't really use it in that way, and uh, you can definitely predict when AI will use burst skills, but still, <laughs> it can be RNG at the end of the day. It is what it is, man. I don't really know what else to say about it. Uh, Roger is just a... Uh, he's, not, he's not healthy for the meta of, of Grand Party, and if you just think about what would happen if Roger didn't exist in Grand Party in terms of his leader skill and burst skill, it would be interesting to see what people would opt for, and I think definitely Uta would be one of those characters that people would be using more often, uh, because the Int Driven, especially in this season, oh my god, that Uta is, is going to be a scary one to come up against. Int Driven is not something you want to take uh, lightly, it's going to be a very, very potent team, but I'll leave you guys with the rest of this match as we use our Slasher team to destroy, absolutely melt through this Dex team here, and we'll pick things up with match number two.
Moving on now to match number two, we are using the exact same team here um, where we have a pretty strong dex team up against an opposing dex team. And we do see that, you know, the opponent's dex team does only have six characters. And when you see a dex team on the opposing side that only has six characters, it's typically very easy to get through. Unless if they have characters like Luchi, for example, CP0 Luchi or Super Type Zora, those characters that can launch very offensive specials very quickly, those types of units could technically be a problem, but realistically, Realistically, if you just run an eight-man dex team with some kind of similar structure to what you see here, uh, it's very simple. You just outpace them by having more characters, and by the end of the game, you have more characters, you just auto-win. Which, honestly, I love that component about Grand Party. That might be one of the best introductions to the game with Grand Party, is that you can win games still, even when the timer hits zero, just by having more characters available. I would love for that component to be introduced into normal Pirate Rumble, because it would make certain teams... Uh, okay, I did say that and then I thought about it for two seconds and then I realized that people's defensive teams would be absolutely cancer. So yeah, just scratch what I just said. I completely understand why they don't do that. But also, if they were making that kind of thing uh, available in normal Pirate Rumble, people would be able to build some more interesting teams in, in generic Rumble. Whereas with this new thing available where you can just outpace your opponent by having more characters available than them, you know, it definitely opens the door for more interesting team builds for, for Pirate Rumble, for sure. Uh, and as you're seeing here, we're running like a, this Kandro just to give the Driven characters a bit more bulk when he comes in. I don't really know if, if I'm going to keep him on the Dex team, but uh, you'll see that towards the end of this clip, uh, when we get to the third match, I actually do change up this Dex team slightly to make it a bit better in the uh, the Dex mirror match matchup. Uh, next up, we've got an interesting one, which we've got the side team versus Quick. And whilst playing this grand party on day one, I kind of realized that the fact that Driven have uh, buffs this season, it could make the Quick teams a little bit more potent too, considering a majority of the good Quick units that you'll see on Rumble teams are also driven. Obviously, the highlighting units being Kaido and versus Akainu, but a lot of the Rumble rare recruits, right? Like the um, Blue Jam and Porchemi that came out last month, those characters make Dex teams in Rumble, uh, so, sorry, Quick teams in Rumble, uh, a lot better, a little bit more consistent, and it actually makes your matchup versus Dex a little bit more favorable, surprisingly. It actually allows you to uh, to apple more damage against them, especially with Blue Jam applying um, halving of stats, and then you've got Poor Chemi, which can do some pretty serious damage output as well. But in this matchup here, Lord does debuff Driven, which is a nice asset that we have, and then uh, Yamato is a really good addition with halving of stats and damage, and we just we just end up outpacing their damage, which is kind of nice. Uh, but so we get a pretty clean victory here on match number two, and we'll pick things up once we get to the final match. We now pick things up with the final match of the video, and I have slightly altered the Dex team where we have five legends on it rather than four with lots of Rumble Rare Recruits. And the reason why I did that is because I wanted to ensure that I had ways to heal. And the way that we do that is with Legend Brook. Now, Legend Brook recently got a level limit break, which does give him slightly higher stats, but the more noticeable increase would be to Doflamingo because he got a really interesting upgrade with his Rumble ability where he actually debuffs Free Spirit characters. So in this team example, we're, we're not up against Free Spirit, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference, but also Doflamingo's special also got upgraded in terms of damage that he does. Uh, he, it's actually a lot more damage than you'd expect because I believe it's like all of his one times attack additional multipliers were up, so it's like a 1.1 and then a 1.2 and then a 1.3. So, especially when you get to below, you know, 40 30 seconds, uh, Dofi is just again hitting like a truck. And with the introduction of Brook on this team, we get some healing components, and I really love utilizing Blackbeard. Blackbeard is so good in Grand Party, because in normal content, his, his CT is very high, and it doesn't really give you that much of a buff. Uh, you know, you'd just rather use Cat Viper, for example, because he can output damage uh, a lot more quickly. 
but in Grand Party it's really good because of so much bulk being added with all of these leader skills and all of these effects being activated. The fact that Blackbeard can just do straight health cut, additional fixed damage, and then also do defense down, it makes your other characters more potent with their damage output. He's just a solid addition to Dex teams in Grand Party. And here we go with Brooke with the revival stuff. And then I do run the Donchin Jiao on the bench because I feel like if, if he comes in late game, he can kind of save me uh, with the uh, special CT reduction. It's a really cool component. I believe he can special bind as well. Like, Donchin Jiao is a really annoying Rumble Rare recruit, and I do not like coming up against him because he could literally be the game changing difference between you winning and losing. Uh, depending on if you have him or if you're going up against him. A very, very annoying character. So yeah, we got the Dex team here, which is able to pretty cleanly deal with this quick team here. But I was I was getting uh, a little a little bit concerned towards the end. I was wondering whether or not I was actually going to have enough damage to actually knock them out. You see here that we both started off with eight characters, so I needed to get some knockouts. Luckily, was able to do that. Of course, Doflamingo doing so much damage, Blackbeard doing the defense down, and then of course Doflamingo in the late game just being able to wave clear is just so good. And uh, at this point here, when we knocked out four of their characters, and then we knock out another one here with the uh, with the Blackbeard special, I pretty much knew at this point that we're going to get a pretty clean victory. And then we move on to the final game of the video, which I believe I end up using my Psy team. I can't actually remember what I was going up against. Uh, it was going to be of oh, the Dex team, right? I was contemplating switching it up and using the Slasher team, um, but I felt like, you know what, at the end of the day, if we lose it, it's not the end of the world. I can just go ahead, run it back, uh, or go up against a different team. So I thought, you know, let's just see what happens. Let's go ahead, use our side team against the Dex team and, and see how we go. Now, one thing here is that we almost got the Roger special activated, but we are so, so close that we only really need to take a couple more hits in order for the Roger burst to activate activate here now one thing that I completely forgot about is that my opponent is using the Uta leader and uh, that actually got me a little bit concerned I completely forgot that it was the Uta leader and luckily I launched the Roger skill when I did because by using the Roger skill it obviously reset it so we have to fully charge it again but then my opponent actually ended up using the Uta burst right after I used my Roger burst which allowed me to charge up my burst again so if I did need to use it again in this match or you know obviously having it again for the final match would be very important but this just highlights how much damage that you can do with that Uta skill like it nearly knocked down Yamato like that is wild how much damage that, that actually did and I am a little bit happy that that Yamato was at least able to launch that special before she was able to get knocked out it was very good damage and obviously activating the Luffy revival proc immediately Immediately, very very early is great for us so all of the opponents having half stats and then additional stat reduction with Roger is fantastic at this point you know normally in, at least in last month I was using Kuzan uh, instead of the Roger in, in this team position uh, but I, I opted to go ahead and try out the Roger once again and I don't know if he's gonna be the mainstay for the team I actually still really prefer Kuzan because of the consistent uh, leader skill or uh, the, the rumble ability that he has and also and obviously um, uh, Kuzan with his uh, regular special is just insane the the guaranteed fixed damage and then if you're up against you know uh, strength or int characters you get additional debuffs against them making your matchup against those types of teams uh, a little bit more favorable but overall uh even though things are looking a little grim here we were still able to pull out a victory which is really really nice anyways that is going to wrap it up for day number one in the grand party hopefully you guys enjoyed it and i wish you guys the best of luck in your matches hopefully you enjoyed it and if you guys did make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and that guys i will see you guys within the next video